Uh, what do we have here? Level crossing sign. You know what? You know what? Yeah, let's just walk up to a random level crossing sign, take the sign, put it in our trunk, and then just walk off. Good work, Layton. That's how you become a gentleman. Fantastic. Well done. He does nothing about being a gentleman. Morning! Busy day for tourists! Does that mean you've seen other tourists? The big bully who just left, you saw him, and a girl. Ha! Huh. So she has been this way. It's gonna end up being someone else, I'm pretty sure. Huh, <sighs> odd looking lass. Not ugly, but weird get up. She's with you? Yes, she is. And we absolutely have to find her before those uniformed thugs do. Hmm. Huh. What's the matter? Do you know anything? You don't look like you're in cahoots with the other one. Alright, the girl was here looking for something. She was making a beeline for somewhere or other. When those bullies in uniform showed up, that's Torchwood. They always show up when they're not wanted. She looked terrified, so I told her to hide while I sent them off track. But she's gone now, see? Where could she have been going, do you think? Dunno, but there's a hill up that way. Good look at point. Ah, oh, good idea. We'll go up the hill and maybe we'll spot her from there, right? Sounds good to me. Alrighty. And we can just go there in one swift movement. We don't have to, like, go part there, part way there or anything. Awesome. Move on. Ain't nothing for us here. And here's the hill lookout. Um, rocks, shrubs, fishing boats, mountains, all rocks. Nothing even remotely girl-shaped. Emmy's looking down at Luke like, what the hell did you just say? Nice music here, though. Nice and peaceful. Fitting for a random lookout point. Uh, but I don't see her anywhere. I can't see her anywhere! That's what I just said. Stealing my words. <laughs> We've climbed all the way up here, so let's make sure we have a good look over the whole area. We may spot her yet. Alrighty. Uh, but first, take coins. <laughs> There's only one. This hand looks so rusty, you can fall apart in any minute. Uh, so, yeah, she doesn't appear to be down there. Wait, is that her? No. Maybe she's gone off this way. Back into the woods. That'd be typical. Well, I wonder where this path leads, Professor. Looks like it leads back into the woods, Luke. Keep your eyes peeled on for any signposts on the way, Luke. In fact, let me show you an example. An example of a signpost. What are you going to do? Get out that level crossing sign that we just stole. <laughs> okay. Now, oh, whatever. Puzzle number 16. Worth 40 pick rest. Give me a sign. Give me a sign, Lord. Lord Jesus. A couple of our days in the forest, after finishing their picnic, they go for a walk only to get lost and wind up a dead end. There's a sign there, but it's all the weather beast and the old piece of the disputes created an arrow have been fallen off. Makes it possible to tell which way to go. A piece of the broken sign can be found on the ground around it, though. Do you think you can help the couple work, pull the sign together and work out which direction they're supposed to go? Uh, maybe. So what pieces have we got that have angles on? Because that's pretty much going to be the most important factor in trying to make a uh, an arrow. And those two appear to be the only pieces that actually have arrows on. Maybe it's maybe it's like this then. Maybe it's like this. Maybe the... Because I kind of got to expect that out of late again. Oh wait, you can see it. It's faded. Oh my god, that's so weird. I can't I can't see it if I look down at the DS, but if I look on the screen, I can actually see the outline of... Uh... Oh no, we can actually turn the pieces. <laughs> I can actually see the outline of the arrow and the top screen. That's kind of funny how that works out. And that's actually going to make this uh... unfortunately easy. <laughs> that's kind of... It's kind of a pity, but whatever, because I probably would be here, like, forever if, uh, if I hadn't seen that. Because that's a kind of weird-looking arrow. <laughs> I've just been f here forever just trying to, like, put together a straight arrow, and I'd be like, why did it not fit? And then I'd have complained and complained and moaned and moaned, and everyone would have got tired a long time ago. Uh, do 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 I think a piece has been put somewhere wrongly. <laughs> Don't know why I would possibly think that. Come on, put the piece in the freaking sign. Uh, maybe I should move that piece over to that side. Then I could use that. Then I could use that. And uh, there we go. We have an arrow. 
Is that right? Short track. Okay, yeah, you can see go. it the faded. You can see it faded on the thing. That'd be such a better puzzle if, yes. uh, I got it. if you couldn't actually see it. I think. There was carved out of wood, exposing some of the sideboards to sunlight. So now the couple know that they need to make a U-turn. Well, that's pretty obvious when you're at the dead end. <laughs> uh, so later, do you just carry that sign around with you all the time? I don't know. Well, I'm not sure where that path leads, but it's definitely looking a bit dodgy, Professor. That's exactly why we need to go that way. Indeed so, and jumping over fences is most ungentlemanly behaviour. So is that you were not going to go that way? Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, I'm not entirely sure where we're, where we're supposed to be going. Should we just keep having a look around? What is there? Maybe she's over there. Alright, Razra girl. Oh, that's a hit coin! Okay. Uh, my guy definitely only mentions one. Oh, hey, there's something here. Multi-purpose Parabella. Yeah, my, my Hinkong guide only mentions one. It didn't mention the one that's over there, which is slightly worrying a little bit. It also didn't mention that. Oh my god, what? It also didn't mention that. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> um. Okay, if you insist, game. <laughs> well, this Hinkong guide clearly isn't complete then, which is... Uh, I don't like it. That... That's just depressing, because I don't know how many I've missed already. Uh, birdies! Look at all those birds. I'd rather fleet of my own. I wish I were a bird. What's over there? Hey, the view's amazing from here. You can see the whole town and most of the lake. I bet this spot sees tons of picnickers. This place looks so abandoned and run down. It's kind of depressing. Professor, look over there! What, 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 what am I looking at here? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> It's Torchwood Zeppelin! Oh dear. So that's where they came down. It's rather unfortunate they landed so close. But they're not moving, which means they haven't found the girl yet, right? All oh, their ships are saying damage during the crash and they are still doing repairs. Either way, we have a chance. Ah! <laughs> ah, did you hear that? It sounded like Bindes going, ah! Yeah, that's kind of what it was. It sounded just like the fisherman we met just now. Is that Boris? Maybe she's gone. Oh, it's more like his voice. Oh no! Do you think the tor the torch with the thug came back? Yeah, probably. Well, at least we have an idea of where to go now. The big giant orange flashing sign that says here. <laughs> That's why I love this game. <laughs> what do you have to say to yourself? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa. The war, the war of uh, the war of '98. Is that, is that what you're talking about? That old war. <laughs> Not war. Water. The girl she was walking on water. I beg your pardon. I'm telling you, she walked straight across the surface from the shore to the middle of the lake. That's impossible. Nobody can walk on water. I'm guessing there's going to be uh, like um, uh, what's it called? What's it called? A bridge <laughs> that you just didn't see or something. <laughs> that seems like the, it sounds absurd, but that's the kind of thing a late game would do. No, we couldn't quickly dismiss this, Luke. One moment. Here now, look down where I'm standing. How are you doing that, Professor? Really? He's making a puzzle out of it? <laughs> puzzle 17, walking on water. Upon examining the surface to the lake more closely... Well, I'm reading from the wrong thing. Upon examining the surface to the lake more closely, Lake discovered some floating ice shelves thick enough to stand on. While the girl appeared to be walking on water, she was merely stepping across the ice. Stepping on ice shelf sets into motion, and he keeps moving until it bumps into something or reaches the shore. Hey, hey guys, we're just here, we're playing Pokemon uh, Gold and Silver puzzles. Ice, ice cave puzzles. Use the floating ice shells as well as Lake Yellow Advantage to help Lake to catch up the girl. Okay, so we have. Wait, I can. Oh, I can just do that, okay. And I can walk across these things. And I'm stuck forever. Oh no! Okay, we stop. <laughs> uh, so let's have a think. What would be the best way to handle this? Because if I go to a corner, then I'm just outright stuck. Let's go left, because I think that's the only way we can go. Let's go this way, because I think this is the only way we can go. Then where do we want to go? I think we're going to go right. Then I think we want to go down, then left. Then left, then up. Then right. And there we go. Let's the key is to use the ice to stop one. the ice. There's always a key. There's always a catch. Excellent. If I do say so myself. 
Lace is so full of himself. Oh, excellent, if I do say so myself. What could the girl looking for in the middle of this lake? Maybe some kind of Azran artifact. Cutscene! <gasps> <gasps> Is that yeah, standard? I could do better now. This reminds me so much of Hollow Bastion. <laughs> well, who'd have thought there'd be something like that in another lake? Huh? I can't see the girl. Where's she gone? You think she slipped off this walkway? Hold on. Over there, that passage leading to the ruin? Oh, the girl must have gone inside. <laughs> really? She just kind of walked off while we were in, in, in awe. Come along, we don't want to lose her again. Pull number 17, walk and watch her down to your full index. Awesome. Uh, wow, this is, this is kind of cool. So reminds me of Hollow Bastion with the water coming down. <laughs> I like the, the thin platforms that you're going to fall off and then land in a bubble and then spend ages trying to get out. What do I have here? Fragile Anchor. All the bits and bobs that have come into this place like over the years. So hey, nobody noticed this before, eh? Like None of the many divers that will have like viewed this place as a tourist destination. Not, none of them will have seen this. Who could have possibly thought that there is such a thing hidden in late Call of Duty. I sure didn't. <laughs> totally did. Uh, okay, where do you want to look at, guys? Top of the swamp pillar to the right. Not that I even know if this guide is accurate because it's missing hit coins apparently. Uh, upper left section of the waterfall, cracked near the top of centre pillar. Is that a centre pillar? Oh, this is. There's a centre pillar? Oh, wait, that'd be, I guess that'd be this one. Is there a crack in this? Maybe there or there? There we go. Alright, so I guess we're gonna just like move on or something. We can't actually examine it. So I guess we'll walk inside. We're on a new, a new sub map again, by the way, and we're going into a new sub map again, by the way. <laughs> I also want to like chain all the sub maps in this game together and see if they can make a cohesive map or something. That'd be cool. Oh hey, it's a portal to the nether. Good grief! I never would have imagined this. I think these runes are responding to the girl. So they too must be. Azran, yes, no doubt about it. Wow, so your theory was correct, Professor Sycamore. It would seem so. An ancient Azran structure with a powerful magnetic field that disrupts passing aircraft. Of course, that is just an unfortunate side effect. I should really like to know what the true purpose of this place is. Professor, I see her! You can't see it? Yep, you can see it. What? Do it harder, make it better. That's what she's singing. for the power of my people to be passed on. <gasps> our legacy to the world we left behind. If you wish to know our secrets and your motives are pure, then all will be revealed. This dome will show you the way. Find the locations of the Azran Keys. Prove you are worthy of our power. Up as asked. So you were not aware? You called yourself Aurora just now. Is that your name? Aurora? I, I don't know. I'm gonna guess yes. 
Do you remember being trapped in the ice? Me? Trapped in... ice? You claim to be the emissary of the Azran. Is it possible that you were sent by the Azran people as their messenger? A messenger? No. I... I don't know. Well, you're a pretty terrible messenger if, you, if, you, if that's what you were sent to do. Perhaps your role as a messenger operates only on a subconscious level. The Azran have sent us their greatest puzzle yet in the shape of this girl. It is up to us to rise to the challenge. I suppose you're right. But what could it all mean? What could it mean indeed? It's an update to our first major mystery, and our third major mystery. The Azran people used a cryogenic technique to hold the girl in stasis until the day that she would be awoken by a future civilization. As the messenger of the Azran, Aurora is able to interact with Azran ruins as enlightened the key to unlocking their secrets by leaving a living messenger for future major generations. Finally, the Azran ensured that their message will be heard. An incantation of a mysterious girl lifted the seal on the lake and revealed an Azran ruin hidden beneath the water. This ruin seemingly emits some kind of magnetic force that interferes with passing aircraft. The girl's chanting revealed an Azran chamber hidden in the lake called Duty. Awesome. Fantastic! <laughs> mm. You may even say vintage. Oh, I see what you. I see what you. What you did there.